Good morning, Anne. Good morning, Russell. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're back. We and it's a sunny back. day in the middle of uh, July, and uh, we're back at the Four Seasons Fisheries. Yeah, we are. In Staining, Lancashire. Yes, it's just a... outside Blackpool. And it's a glorious day, everybody. I hope they come down and join us at the next one, which is in August, and the last one, September. Well, what did you think of your breakfast? I love the breakfast, but what I'm loving even more is your shirt this morning, Ross. Look at this. Yeah, well, well, thank you. It's, uh, You're looking very snazzy. It's a recent purchase, so uh, <laughs> it came recommended. Very comfortable and... Uh, yeah, loving, loving the burning hot cars, guys, on here. And we've got a burning hot car for you this morning. So we just had a lovely full English breakfast, the best in town, at the cafe here as well. And now we're going to show you with our fabulous guests. And look, I'm seeing some friends here as well. Come on down to the next one. But Russ, you're going to show us what's going yeah, on, Yeah, we're going to take a walk down here now. And we're yeah. going to take a walk and look at the cars. Yeah. So the first Dave, it's Dave's cover in his Chrysler Crossfire. Okay. Which is a convertible. And believe it or not, it is an American car. Amazing. Would you like to just walk around it? And yeah. I'll get you so, on camera as you start to tell us the specifics. But it's so, a beautiful car. It's an SRT. Yeah. Get you in, we're new, we're doing a few. Would you like to come a bit nearer? I need you just into the car because I'm going to get you and the car. Yes, push him in, he's it's, that excited. It's a V6, <laughs> yeah. and believe it or not, most of the parts are Mercedes, which is quite a surprise. Right. That, it, so it is, it was, it is made in America, but actually, uh, Mercedes made a lot of the uh, running gear and a lot of the parts inside the airplane. Wow. Wow. So you can get a lot of these parts from Mercedes dealers for this car, but as nice. you can see, it's quite unique. Yeah. Uh, if you walk down the back, Working on our angles, everybody. We're working on our curves and angles. That's my new, my new there, direction there's, today. <laughs> there's a Chrysler Crossfire logo and emblem. Wow, twin, beautiful. twin exhausts down there. Oh right, yes. I like the way you're going to point these things out yeah, to me. Yeah. The novice and the expert. And look at the way um, that the uh, soft top is done. Look how this nice speedster cover comes back with the hoops and the plastic. Yeah. Little wind deflector with the uh, crossfire symbol etched into the back of it. So it's marvelous. Is it high performance? Is it going yeah, very it's, fast? Yeah, it'll go. It'll uh, it'll shift. Yeah. Yeah. It's it looks lovely. It's perfect for today's weather actually. On the beautiful back roads of Lancashire, absolutely stunning. Now, lovely it, interior. And then what have we got here, next Rice? Next to this, we've Let's got, go we've got Kirk's it. 2079 Camaro. Uh, and this is quite a monster. You can see inside this has got uh, all the. Uh, I just get you to come up to the window there. Do you yeah. want to point into the window or maybe the bonnet? Um, yeah, do you want to point out what's yeah, in there then? Well, he's got these racing seats in, look, Anne. Okay. With, with, this is a four point harness. Oh, look at that. Not a normal seat belt, although I'm sure he'll have his. And it's got a full rope ro cage in it. Oh. So all this steel structure, and is if the car rolls over, it means it that the roof doesn't go Yeah, we flat. don't want the roof going flat. Yeah, exactly. So it's a bit of a race car, this, as you can see. Oh, and we'll look at the taco there, and that uh, gives you the engine speed, so that when he's drag racing down the uh, strip, you can see what the revs are. It's a great colour. I yeah. love the orange colour. It's a very exciting car. It's huge. It's is it a very powerful car, yeah, Russ? it is. Bring us round to the engine. Yeah, it's uh, more of a lot. 70s now, yeah. Chevy. I mean, what year and, is that? Uh, That's a 79. What, what's the engine size, Kurt? Uh, it's a 350. 350. 5.7 litre. Good morning, Kurt. We'll just get you to introduce morning. yourself up there. Hello. How long have you been into cars? And oh, since... Well, it's my dad's fault. Ah. He got me into cars. Is he really? <laughs> dad's here as since well? Since a little kid. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah. He had a he had a seventy one pony at Fiber when I was like ten. Yeah. And he used to take me out driving in it and oh. and I've always just wanted to get that feeling back again. Yeah. yeah. I've had newer stuff and I don't find them as much fun. No. I love the old stuff, the the rawness of it, the, the creaks. What made you buy this car? Um I got a bargain to be honest. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I saw it and I just thought, yeah, that's that's Perfect for me, that. Yeah, it's quite. Do you want to tell us with with Russ about the engine? And yeah, it's um, just getting you in the camera. Pretty much standard, really. I think it, I don't know too much about it, but uh, it had a, it did have a big block at one point when it oh, was a dragster. Wow. Right. Um, but I, I I've got a suspicion they could either put that engine in another car or sold it separately to get more money. Right. It's four barrel. 
Lancashire Hot Rods, don't you just love it? <laughs> <laughs> what is Lancashire Hot Rods? What uh, happens? Is it a meat tarbo? Club? Yeah, I basically started it uh, the last time I had, um, I had a 72 Camaro and uh, I just thought it'd be good to start up a group with like minded people and stuff. Nice. Uh, yeah. yeah, so uh, we, we have monthly meets at the League 8. Yeah. It's oh, the well. s second well. Sunday of every month. Oh, well, that's good to know. Yeah. Have you got a website or anything you can push as well? Um, just on uh, Facebook, Lancashire Hot Rods. Oh, well, that's I great to know. Well, let's get in there. Let's hear you yeah. roar. <laughs> it's a beautiful looking car. Oh, you've got the keys, haven't you? Oh, and who's this young lady? <laughs> Hi, not good ear, morning. Not earplugs. Right. It's, it's the keys, well, not the earplugs. Yeah, it's not earplugs. Ear Such a lovely sociable thing at these meets as well. Obviously, being new to them myself, it's a lovely thing that people really ought to come down and just enjoy the cars. You don't have to have a car, you can just come along and appreciate them. Oh, yeah, that's the exhaust. I'll be in there in a minute. <laughs> You've burnt your trousers on the exhaust. Oh, my God. Check it out. I wasn't prepared for that. That is loud. Wow. And you see here, like everything, this is my indicators down here, my line. <laughs> so there's nothing, nothing standard really. Everything's been played with, if you will. Yeah. Like, it's all black. Yeah. There was no yeah. carpet in it, so I just took a load of mats I had. <laughs> Sorry, we're getting close, but that's the kind of world we're part of. It's not a big family here. Yeah, it's quite a sound, isn't it? Yeah. Should I give Is it, it a nice roll to run? drive? Yeah, give it a yeah. ring. Yeah. Go on. What, what excites you it's about this car? It's a monster. Absolute monster. <laughs> it's a monster. It runs on diesel as well. Is it? I put 20 quid's worth of diesel in it. You're Come kidding. on, Fred. You're everyone's in the me. club today. Yeah, so Good morning, Fred. I put 20 Fred. quid in it, and I managed to get to Preston with it. In. Oh, wow. Well, you're kidding. You're wiping it up. Diesel. Oh, it was... <laughs> and then wow. uh, I ended up taking some diesel out and putting some more petrol in. <laughs> and eventually it started to run, but it was smoking and oh, chopping. Wow. I've never heard of that trick before. <laughs> I thought I knew everything in the car world. Well, Russ. I'm sure I squeeze an extra few mouth for going out of it. <laughs> Lots of tips and tricks. Oh, here. warning to the viewers. Don't. Don't uh, practice putting diesel in your car. No, don't do this at home. <laughs> yeah, don't do it at home. Kurtz did that because he knows all about his engine and everything like that. I'm prepared to uh, carry the can if there was an issue with it. I've got a petrol can in my back. Listen, Russ, thanks for this clip. Thank you, Kirk. Remind us what this is and we'll go on to the next one. We'll say well, goodbye for now. What was this car? It was a Chevy Camaro, 1979. Fantastic. Let's go and get a copper and we'll be back with my petrol can. Yeah. Okay. See you soon. Bye. Bye.